A family's priceless painting ended up missing after it was shipped through UPS. The 80-year-old Sarasota woman who was trying to pass that down to her daughter was devastated. That's when she knew she'd better call Bankin and tonight Shannon is getting results. Keith, Jim, my message to UPS was simple. Look a little harder for this painting. And tonight, I'm happy to report that they did just that. I'm just forever grateful, really. Joan O'Dowd's sentimental painting, the one that went missing after she tried to ship it as a present to her daughter last month, has finally arrived at her daughter's condo in downtown Chicago. Because it means a lot to her. You know, she was three years old the day that, that we, I acquired it my husband and I, and she, she said, I'm gonna cry. And she said she just sobbed when she saw it. It was better than, than the first day we bought the painting. The feeling was much better than that. That's what a little BCB intervention can do. UPS first said the painting never left Sarasota and an investigation could take weeks. Well, 24 hours after I got involved, UPS somehow found the painting and flew it to Chicago. This painting from the 70s is part of a pair showing the iconic lions outside of the Chicago Art Institute. Joan's plan is to pass the paintings down to her daughter one at a time. And now she can. So thank you so much. We're so grateful. We really are. I'm thrilled. So eventually, my daughter will get the other painting and they'll be together again. How relieved are you that that painting is where it's supposed to be? I really thought I'd never, it, it would never be recovered. I'm so relieved. I can't tell you. Words can't express it. I really... So what went wrong here? Well, a UPS spokeswoman tells me it's still unclear why this painting wasn't shipped the way it was supposed to. It was found in a UPS warehouse for lost items. And I will say, though, that once I reached the right people within UPS, they quickly found this painting and agreed to fly it to Chicago the very next day. Okay, but I don't want to be Debbie Downer mm -hmm. here. There yeah. is a second picture. How are we getting it there to yes, where it belongs? As you can imagine, she's a little nervous about that. She's undecided on how she's going to ship this second painting, but she's hoping that this shipping mistake was just a fluke and she'll have better luck next time. But I'm sure it's going to be difficult for her to actually take it somewhere. Yeah, and it'll be kind of a nail biter. All mm -hmm. right, thank you, Shannon. Yeah. And if you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. The number is 1 855 Bankin, or you can reach her at Facebook at WFLA Shannon.